So, in my office again. Huh. Care to explain why you've had to come see me again this week? No. Well, I think you know very well what you've done to deserve personal detention with me. I thought I told you not to provoke me during class. Do you realize that every time you disrupt my classroom with your snide remarks and giggles, you know, it makes me want to do awful things to you. Well, what can I say? I have a short fuse these days. And brats like you just want to push my buttons all day and night. Well, I'm not sure how much more of it I can take, to be honest. I know I have to be a role model and practically be a third parent to you kids, but it just makes it so difficult when I have so much responsibility to keep you brats in line all day, but none of that authority to discipline you. Or you'll run off crying and complaining about me. Then I'd really be annoyed. Why? Well, because I'd be out of a job, of course. You know, adults have bills and stuff to pay for, you know. <laughs> you can call me old all you want, but you are going to be just as old as me in less than ten years. And dumb, slutty brats are going to piss you off just as much as it's pissing me off right now. Well, how should I make you repent for making me angry today? We already did the boring self-reflection writing exercise yesterday. And that didn't seem to work now, did it? Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I should punish you in a more... physical way. No? <laughs> Watching your pathetic face turn pale like that really gets me excited, I must say. I guess I must be some sort of sadistic pervert. <laughs> oh, what is this? Are you getting indignant at me now? I haven't even done anything to you yet, and you're already getting this mad. I guess you really do need to be punished then. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Say anything. Now, you can either grit your teeth yourself and be a good, quiet student, or I can make sure you don't make a sound. What would you rather? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm? How was that? Hmm? Are you mad now? Are you angry at me? I guess this is going to make you think twice the next time you want to disrupt my damn class, you fucking brat.
So, how was that? Did it hurt? Do you feel embarrassed? Oh, yeah. I like that face. Just know that I can do much more damage against you if I want it to. You are completely and utterly at my mercy. And I hope you know it, you pathetic child. You know, I remember when I used to be a dumb kid just like you. I thought I was on top of the world. And I was smarter than anyone. <laughs> what a disappointment life turned out to be. Having to stand in front of a soulless classroom all day while your empty, low IQ eyes look up at me. None of you brats are going anywhere. Let me tell you that right now. I know you're already engaging in all sorts of sinful activities behind your parents' backs, no less. I say you might as well just continue doing them. Yeah. Let it ruin your life, why don't you? Don't listen to any fucking teachers who are trying to convince you to go to college or make something of yourself. After all, that's what I did. I did everything I thought was right. And I ended up in front of you. After class, like this. After all, that's what I did. I did everything I thought was right. And I still ended up in front of you after class, like this, anyways. I guess I'm just a pathetic loser. <laughs> what can I say? At least I'm getting to release some of this anger and disappointment on my precious student. <laughs> I mean it, by the way. I have actually really enjoyed seeing you grow as a person through the years together. From the time I saw you as a meek, tiny freshman, <laughs> I've wanted to tie you up and completely break you. Sort of like I'm doing now. But I am kind of glad I waited until puberty. And time allowed you to get corrupted first. You know, in a sick, twisted way, it makes this breaking process more justified, I guess. I'm going to make you a good little docile kitten again. Because right now, your entire being just pisses me right the fuck off. Oh, come on. Don't start crying at me, will you? You know, I can only get so excited. I barely touched you and you're already bawling like this. Just fucking wait until the disappointment of adulthood completely rapes you in the head like it's done to me. Look at me. I said fucking look at me. If I ever hear a single sound come out of your mouth while I am trying to teach you again. Things are not going to end well for you. Do you hear me? All right, yeah. 
go on. Run off and cry to your parents if you want. <laughs> like they're going to listen to you. A troubled delinquent like you thinks you're going to get me fired? <laughs> I don't think you understand the situation that you're in here. I can ruin you. I can literally ruin your entire life in more ways than one. And I don't know if you know what is truly in store if you piss me off again. I mean, I could make you disappear for a while and be my little slave if I wanted you to be. You're already skipping school all the time. It wouldn't be that hard to pull off. So, how about this? Either you be a good kid out of your own accord from now on, and I will find another victim instead. Or, you can keep being a snobby little brat, and I can break you. It's totally up to you. Either way, I am going to have me some fun.